Hey guys, uh, this is the part two of test cross and back cross. Um, at firstly, I'm really very sorry. I regret because I'm updating after a very long time. It took me so long because I was a bit, um, I was a bit uh, busy with my schedule. So I'm really very sorry. And uh, so the, we stopped um, here at the test cross. So we'll continue with that. So we were in the last video of part one of test cross and back cross. We were performing this thing test cross. So again, we will do that. Uh, what is test cross? We're going to see that. The main objective of test cross, which is also called as back cross, is to find whether dominant expression is pure, that is capital T capital T, or hybrid capital T small t. We want to find out the genotype of our offspring. We, it was tall plant, our offspring was tall, but we wanted to know whether it is hybrid, it has hybrid that means it is having mixed characters, or is it pure? So we are going to perform that with the help of test cross. Test cross is done by crossing offspring, F1 hybrid offspring, but we are going to pretend that we don't know it's a hybrid. So F1 offspring with its parent, we're crossing the offspring with its recessive parent, pure recessive. Remember, in test cross, we cross the offspring with the pure recessive parent. Hence, we are crossing it with its pure recessive parent. Hence, we drew this Punnett square. If you don't know how to do the Punnett square, you can watch my video of that. So when we cross the offspring with its pure recessive parents, our results were here. We got 15% tall and 15% dwarf plants in equal proportion. What we got, dwarf plants and tall plants. From this we can say that plant is capital T, small t hybrid. We got two tall plants and two dwarf plants. What is the ratio? One is to one is the test cross proportion or test cross ratio. For example, if we get 10 plants tall and 10 dwarf or short, we can find the genotype of offspring. That is, it was hybrid. We come to know about this because our half of the offsprings were tall and half were dwarf. So from that we can conclude that our, the genotype of our offspring that it was hybrid. If we get one is to one ratio, this is test cross. So our offspring was dominant tall. We knew that, but we didn't know whether it was a pure or hybrid. But now, after performing the test cross with pure recessive parent, we came to know that it was hybrid. Now we are going to perform another back cross. This is a back cross with F1 hybrid offspring, though we don't know whether it's hybrid or not and pure dominant parent. This time we are taking pure dominant parent. But this back cross is not test cross. You will come to know why soon. So we are crossing with the pure dominant parent and um, the F1 plant offspring. Now the results are in front of you. That is, we got all the plants of that progeny were tall. In the previous test cross, we saw that the uh, Half of the offsprings were tall and half were dwarf. So it was very easy for us to deduce that uh, our offspring was hybrid. But here we are getting 50% tall and 50% tall, but 50% are pure tall, 50% are hybrid tall. We don't know. This information is incomplete. From this, we cannot conclude whether our plant was, whether our offspring was a pure or hybrid. How will we come to know that our offspring F1 hybrid was pure tall or hybrid tall? This back cross fails, okay? So, from this we can conclude that here both are tall, both the offsprings we are getting are tall, and it's difficult to find that the offspring is pure hybrid. Test cross is back cross, but not every back cross is test cross. So, you must be getting something. This back cross fails to tell us it was, uh, this is back crosses are actually the test to find the genotypes, but this act, this back cross with the pure dominant parent didn't tell us anything about the offspring, but, but this test cross told us with the recessive pure parent, pure recessive parent, 
we got the result that is half the progeny was tall and half the progeny was dwarf. So hence it was really easy for us to conclude that our offspring was hybrid. So that was all about test cross and back cross. I hope you like this video. Uh, if you don't understand the video, you can watch it again with part one and part two both together. And uh, leave your reviews, your positive reviews. And if